Welcome to Backroom Breakdown with Lauren, your analysis of local, state, and federal politics. This is DITV's weekly politics segment, where I'll discuss important political events impacting Iowa City. I'm your host, Lauren Johnson. Governor Kim Reynolds again made headlines this week after Iowa State Auditor Rob Sand made accusations that her office misused state COVID-19 funds to pay employee salaries. A state audit report was released on Monday that said her office took nearly $450,000 in federal COVID-19 relief funds and used them to pay 21 employees over a three-month period in 2020. The spending was then hidden by passing it through Iowa's Department of Homeland Security and Emergency Management. Auditor Sand said it is not clear, quote, why these salaries were not included in the governor's budget set prior to the fiscal year and prior to the pandemic. Based on this information, we conclude that the budget shortfall was not a result of the pandemic, end quote. Sand asked for documentation from the governor's office twice, but was told the staff members were focused on the COVID-19 pandemic responses at the time of spending, and he never received the documentation requested. He also warned Reynolds' office that the spending would likely not get federal approval in October, but says his advice was ignored. After being frustrated by Reynolds' office, Sand asked the Department of Homeland Security and Emergency Management for documentation and originally received a spreadsheet labeled FY 2020 shortfall that listed the governor's employees in the amount $448,448.86. He later received a second version titled COVID-19 personnel costs. A spokesperson for Governor Reynolds released a statement saying, quote, During this time, the governor's staff spent a vast majority of their time responding to the pandemic. This has always been our justification for the expense. We are now working with Treasury to provide them documentation per their request, end quote. At the request of the Office of the Inspector General, Sand's office looked into the spending. According to Sand, the office agrees with his findings. The state may have to repay the money to the federal government. This would not be the first time Reynolds had to return federal funding. In December 2020, Reynolds had to repay $21 million in COVID-19 relief money after it was used to provide needed upgrades to a state information technology system. Thanks for tuning in to Backroom Breakdown with Lauren. I'll be back next time with the latest political news affecting Iowa City, Iowa, and the USA. I'm Lauren Johnson. Have a great day.